Hello all. In today's session of manufacturing technology, we will be discussing forming and rowing operation of sheet metals. First, let us see forming operation. Forming is a sheet metal operation in which we are applying a force to uh, sheet metal so as uh, its uh, geometry is uh, modified or you can say the shape of the sheet metal is modified without any material removal. In forming operation, we will apply a force to the sheet metal uh, so that the applied force uh, stresses the metal beyond its yield strength and uh, that causes the material to plastically deform but it will not fail. Let us see the need or purpose of forming. Usually we go for forming of sheet metals for this uh, reasons. One is to uh, strengthen the edges of the parts, sheet metal parts. Another purpose is to add rigidity to the sheet metal. Another purpose is to remove any sharp edges. Then another purpose is to improve the appearance of the sheet metal. As we have seen, forming is a uh, operation by which we are modifying the geometry or the shape of the sheet metal without metal removal. Now this forming is actually uh, done by a machine known as uh, press brake. Press brakes are usually very bulky machines which are used to apply forces for uh, forming operation. Uh, it is having a uh, ram like this uh, which is used to exert the force and at the bottom it is having a supporting table and where we are placing the die. The forming process can be explained by these two uh, schematic diagrams. So these two uh, diagrams figure A and figure B shows uh, a forming process. Here you can see this is the uh, ram which is exerting the force and this is the die. Uh, so the sheet metal is uh, deformed into uh, the required shape. The forming operation can be further explained by this uh, animation. Here you can see a metal sheet is placed between the punch and the die. So when uh, we exert a force, the uh, metal sheet is deformed. So that is uh, um, forming operation. So in order to do this or in order to exert a very high force, we uh, use a machine which is known as press brakes. Let us see a press brake. Normally press brakes are very big machines. You can see a press brake. So this is a press brake machine and the sheet metals are inserted and this press brake applies uh, force, required force. and uh, required forming operation is uh, performed. Another application of forming is tube forming. Tube forming is uh, forming of tubes into various shapes and uh, contours for various uh, functional and uh, appearance purposes. Examples are this one uh, this tube bending then making bell mouth another uh, is uh, necking and another is exam expanding. 
we'll see uh, with the help of some videos you can see tube bending operation uh, in this video so a tube can be formed uh, by this uh, forming operation this video shows tube and forming or uh, expanding a tube next we will see another uh, forming operation that is uh, stretch forming in stretch forming the sheet metal is uh, held like this in between two jaws and uh, the forming punch is uh, exerted like this as you are seeing in this figure so uh, the sheet metal is uh, stretched and uh, formed so i can see the explanation here um, a sheet metal is uh, gripped in between the jaws of uh, 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 jaws, two jaws, and uh, uh, for forming or shaping is done by uh, stretching it over a forming punch. The metal is uh, stretched beyond its uh, yeah, yield point, and. Uh, Normally, the forming punch is made by wood, uh, resin bonded, plywood, or zinc base alloy, etc. We can do this for um, different materials like aluminium alloys, stainless steel, titanium, etc. And uh, one uh, actually, this is a bending operation. You can bend uh, sheet metals uh, by this operation. And one advantage uh, if you are bending by this operation is we can avoid spring back effect. And now we can uh, uh, I'll show you a video in order to explain this uh, strength forming. Here you can see uh, the sheet metal is uh, fixed between the uh, two chucks, or um, it is fixed between two jaws. Now the punch is advanced. So as the punch advance it is uh, formed and uh, it is made into the correct uh, required shape. So this is the finished product. The next sheet metal operation that we are going to see is drawing operation. Drawing operation is an operation in which a punch forces the metal to flow as a viscous liquid between the surface of the punch and the surface of the die. So the metal flows uh, as a viscous liquid in between the clearance uh, space of the punch and the die. Uh, usually uh, there is a little or uh, no change in the thickness and uh, area of the metal blank. Uh, one thing you should be careful is the material being drawn must have sufficient strength and ductility. This schematic figure do, uh, shows the drawing operation. Here we are having a punch uh, like this. Then you have a die, a drawing die like this. And uh, the metal blank is placed over the die like this. And when you advance the uh, punch, the uh, blank gets deformed into the shape of the die or the blank will be deformed and it will fill the gap between the die and the punch this is a simple schematic diagram uh, but in actual situation the die will be little bit uh, complex like this so this is actually the drawing die uh, the die is having the punch this is a punch in the die and the, this is the bottom portion of the die and you have arrangements like this. So as the punch is advanced, you can see the uh, 
no, the workpiece or metal blank is this red uh, sorry this black one is the metal blank so as the punch advances towards the die the workpiece get deformed into a cup like shape like this as you can see we'll see with the uh, video now you can see this is the die uh, in this uh, this is the punch now the metal blank is placed over the die now the punch is advanced to the towards the die the punch exerts force over the metal blank and now that metal blank is uh, deformed to a shape of a uh, cup the blank diameter to produce the a cup of diame uh, uh, diameter d mm? in order to make a cup of diameter small d the blank diameter to be taken is calculated by this equation the blank diameter to be taken is equal to root of d square plus 4 dh where h is the cup of the height another equation you can see is the equation for calculating the drawing force uh, required the maximum force that is required is equal to pi into d into t into sigma u where t is blank thickness and sigma is the ultimate tensile stress of the material next we will be seeing another uh, similar operation known as deep drawing operation so in this operation um, cups of uh, uh, deeper cups are, are made that is the uh, de the, pro the depth of the product obtained will be higher than the diameter example of a deep drawn part is like this here you can see that the depth of the uh, this is the depth depth of the uh, cup or the product is uh, very larger than the diameter diameter is very less but the depth is very very high compared to the diameter the process is similar to the drawing operation the first step is to change the blank into a cup like normal drawing now then the part is then made deep by further continuous drawing so we can say that the difference between normal drawing and deep drawing is uh, drawing is single operation but deep drawing is continuous drawing operation till we get uh, uh, the uh, product of um, the required depth so like this it is a continuous process this is a product made by deep drawing operation this is the final product and these are the various steps involved so this is a initial metal blank first it is drawn into this shape then again it is drawn to this shape so uh, gradually by subsequent drawing operation the height increases and you will get the final product we will see a manufacturing uh, deep drawing process so the initially the uh, drawing this is a initial drawing operation then further it is uh, uh, drawn so further the height uh, diameter is decreased and the height is uh, uh, increased in further drawing operation and again in further uh, steps the diameter is reduced and uh, depth is increased so we can say this is uh, deep drawing so that's all in this session today uh, we have seen deep drawing normal drawing and uh, forming operation thank you next class we'll be seeing uh, spinning operation